Well, happy days, my fantastic numismatic artistic friends. It's me, Master Temple, and we're back in the Master's house today. We're going to paint a nice, big, Christmassy kind of painting. One that you may have seen something very similar before on the channel about a year ago today. Now, what we've got up here on this canvas, we've got a big old canvas, and I've taken a tiny bit of uh, masking tape, and I've made a circle out of that. This is going to be a moon, okay? And then stuck that down. And on top of that, where you can see it's dark and, and, and black, we've taken bra uh, black acrylic primer, okay? And coated it all over, apart from this area here, we've just wiped off the brush where we've got, you know, hardly any paint on the brush just around here. And allowed that to dry completely. Now on top of that, we've taken some liquid uh, clear, which is this stuff. Just a clear medium it allows us to blend paint up here and i've gone over that with liquid clear and uh, prussian blue and in the corners we've got midnight black now down here where i've left the canvas white because we're going to have snow we uh, we've just coated this with liquid uh, liquid white which is this stuff right there again we can blend color on there so the canvas is all wet now the painting that we're going to do is going to be um, it's going to be um, what they call um, on our way to Bethlehem and I painted it last year did quite well so I'll put a little bit of a photograph up there now on the uh, on the screen uh, and I saw I sold that pretty much straight away to uh, to a, a mate of mine called uh, called Danny and he's got a YouTube channel called break my takeaway okay right so we're going to this and we'll just tap in some titanium white onto the one inch brush and I'm just going to reach up here, forgive me, and a tiny bit of Indian yellow, Indian yellow and titanium white, don't want much, just enough just to flavour the white paint because yellow and, and blue will make green and we don't want much of a green sky, not at night time, not at any time really, okay I'm just where this moon is we're just going to blend some of this into that blue paint and then just take it out and it'll give a greenish cast but because the white's on there it, 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 will, it will make it look more like a, a, a glowing halo around the, uh, the moon okay just there like so. Now I'm just going to wipe the brush, try and get most of that paint off and then just go straight into some more titanium white paint. And then just up here, just a tiny bit, start again. I'm going to blend this out. Little sideways rocking strokes, just like that. We're going to have some clouds up here as well. On our way to Bethlehem. And it might not be a true depiction of uh, what happened in the biblical times. Just, just remember that this canvas is how Bob Ross would call it, our world, and we can do whatever we want. As long as we're having fun and we're not hurting people, we can do whatever we want. Okay, so now we can see that titanium white is a fairly opaque colour. It'll cover all the... Uh, the greys and the blacks that are underneath the canvas and that's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm swirling this out, taking it all the way out as far as I can go, just blending it down there like that. Okay, now let's get a clean brush. I'm going to set that to one side, make sure this is dry and all I'm going to do is just Loosely blend all this together. So you can't tell where one colour starts and the other colour stops. Yeah, like so. Okay, let's do a magic trick. Let's get the palette knife and underneath this we're just going to reach up and pull off this masking tape moon. Yeah. Hopefully in one go, but Okay, we've got it in two goals. There we go. Just set that to one side. All right, now with a fan brush, let's get a fan brush. 
this one will do. All I'm going to do is now just, just tie, take some of this halo-y colour, this blue-y colour, and I'm just going to scrub over the moon, all the way over. It'll dull the, the brightness of the moon down and uh, set it back into the sky, the night sky. And if all goes well, we'll put some clouds over this as well. Now in the original painting I did, I didn't put a moon in. I had it very stormy and very snowy, but uh, for this one I thought, why not have a nice big moon in there? Are you all set for Christmas as well? I am, and I've got some very interesting news to, to tell you, if I, uh, if I think on, if I think on, if I remember. Right, so there we go. So we're gonna have some stars up here rather than, uh, rather than um, a snowstorm. So I'm gonna, Put in some clouds of where where these stir uh, so I can paint the stars around them. Usually we paint the furthest thing away, but but in this time we'll, we'll paint uh, we'll paint the clouds. Then we can put the stars around them. So titanium white paint on the fan brush, and all I'm going to do load it full. And you need really firm paint. You can see how firm that is. It's not dripping off the canvas, uh, off the off the palette. Really firm. Okay, and then all we're going to do is come up here and then just jiggle the brush any old out. Right the way, right the way down. If you've run out of paint, reload the brush. There we go. That wasn't hard, was it? We'll put one on the other side, so up here, really push the brush. It'll pick up the blues and the blacks. That's underneath. This is very similar to the uh, to the uh, Starry Night one I did for the Masters paints, the Masters, which was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing, and I may do that again at some point. Okay, clean, dry brush. Make sure it is dry. And what we're going to do? Just tickle the base. Just tickle the base. See, I'm hitting the corner of the paintbrush and just winding and churning up the base of those clouds. I'm not touching the top edge, I don't want to distort the top edge at all. Then over onto this one, just a little bit there. Just churn the base of these clouds up. You can't go wrong at this, you really can't. Such a free way of painting. Okay. Now if you picked up too much paint, just pop it along a paper towel and then just lightly lift up, tease up, very gently and then lightly go across. And then same on this one, up we go, and lightly across. It's slightly snowing today and uh, it's, it's kind of nice. I've had to delay filming certain videos because of because of the big storm that's happened. Storm Unwin or Ulwin, I think that's what they called it. Um, so, so yeah, it really was chaotic. Um, and I hope you all are all safe and well uh, from that. Okay, now I'm gonna take another fan brush and I'm just gonna go into the Midnight Black. I'm just gonna take a little bit of tiny Midnight Black and under some of these clouds just here, I'm just gonna to touch where the shadow would be. Just a tiny bit, again up here as well, and we'll come back and we'll tease all this together. Just like so. Be a bit more on the, this side, it's not bright enough. There. Like that. Okay, so the brush down, again, I'm just going to lightly go over that, push that paint into the painting. That's all we want to do. Okay, let's paint some more clouds. That was so, so much fun. Let's have another go at it. <laughs> so another one up here. But you need to blend that, that base of that first cloud out first before you, you put another one in. Work in layers. Always try to work in layers. 
just like that. And then same on this side, have another one just there, comes round and down. Now you could do this, I could do this in any colour, but if you wanted, um, um, what is it, a, a space scene, you could do this in like reds and planets and all sorts, you could put three or four of those, and, and that's something that we may, may venture at at some point in the future. But, big news, not on this channel we won't, because this is one of the final paintings that you'll be seeing on the Treasures channel. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I've, I've had a really strong think and I've been talking to some of my uh, closest uh, dearest about this and I'm, I'm beginning to think that um, even though painting on this channel is quite good and neat, I, th I think we could do better with the painting if it had its own entity and likewise with the coins. So. If all goes well, and our Santa brings me my wish this year, the Treasures channel will be a solely coin related channel and we'll stick to coins and we'll even do coin hunts. And we'll make a new channel, we'll have a new channel just for the art. I don't know what name the channel's gonna be yet. Um, Master Temple Paints, the, you know, Master Paint, you've got to be start saying that. <laughs> My dad said you've got to be careful how you're saying that one, son. <laughs> Master Paints. Anyway, so that's what the plan is. So I'm going to split the channels, the, the different aspects of the channels into two. And when that does happen, I'll put a little, uh, a little bit of something on Facebook and on. Uh, on the community's page and everything like that just just so you guys can know and if you are interested in, in coming over to the new channel and watching it paint then i would appreciate that but if you're just into coins then that's fine but of course you're into painting or she would be watching this video okay right so with that said let's put a bit more of this black underneath one or two of these clouds just really scrub it in give it a bit of a shadow just there, like that. Maybe a bit more on this side. Sim. Yeah. We don't know where it's gonna go. There, like that. Maybe we'll have another cloud. Just one more. Over here. Really big cloud. We'll just leave that there. Big stormy looking cloud. Stormy looking night. Yes. That's it. And again, just twirl, twirl the base of that really up, like so. See, I've got a big brush, but only the top, top corner is, is touching. Now, I'm feeling when I split the channels, I could do a lot more with that, and I could take it into different directions and do, do a lot more things that I can't do, or it would be pointless doing if it's a coin channel. So. So that's one of the reasons as well. There we go. So there, some nice big stormy looking clouds. Yeah, and all the way across. Right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna work on some, some far away distant little, little hills. Okay, so with that, I'm just gonna take some blue and I'm gonna add a touch phthalo blue to this, it's a different colour to the Prussian blue, it's, it's, it's more warmer, okay, and then up here, I'm just going to push in where I think a hill should be, back in the distance, okay, a bit more colour, this is going to be a lighter side, so eventually we'll come back down and highlight this, up there maybe, and down like so. Just really scrub some colour in there. Put some light on that as well. You don't have to be neat. All you're bothered about is the top edge of your hills. We'll come in with a one inch brush and, and make all this look all all right. Might even grab a bit of Prussian blue just on this shadow side of the hill. 
feet down there like that. Set that brush down, let's go back. We'll take this one, it's mucky, but we're not bothered. And we're just gonna pull this down. And because we've got liquid white here, we, when we start to pull this and blend, it'll look like mist and fog and all sorts down here. And this way. that so let me know your thoughts on the, uh, the channel split What's, uh, what do you think about it think it's a good idea I think it's a good idea It'd be a lot more work for me but I think it's a, a good idea I really do and I'm really looking forward to getting into coin hunting proper coin hunting till raiding's good and it, it shows how collecting coins can be done, but um, if we're doing big ones, you know, the £500 worth ones and things like that, I think that, that's, that's going to be neat. Yeah, like so. Just pull that down, just blend it all together, make it look nice and smart. So there we go, a nice hill range just there. Okay, so just going to take a tiny bit of push and glue and down at the bottom of this, not much, just maybe put a little tiny foot or something like that that goes up there, like so. And then again, take this brush and just tap the base of this, lift slightly up, and then bring it all together. There. Right. Now, how we're looking. What we want is a tiny little village, Bethlehem. Just put that dirty brush to one side. So, a little bit of thin oil into the black. Maybe a tiny bit of brown as well, just to take the edge off the darkness. Just there, like so. And then I'm just going to put some houses now back in the olden days these houses would have been um, on certain flat roofs but again it's 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 however we want to see them isn't it one or two here and there bigger ones smaller ones some with sidey parts on i'm hoping you can see that okay maybe another one there grab a bit more color so i'll put the thin oil in that just to just to thin it down somewhat so it slides over that liquid white without diluting too much another one there maybe one tiny one there right band brush white paint on it and all we're going to do is just grab the base of some of these and then just flick out this will create shadows way back there right what you can do i'm going to take a tiny bit of paint in it and some of this yellow paint yellow and white paint so that's indian yellow and uh, titanium white a bit of paint in it just to thin it down and it's going to come in here and one or two lights are on not many okay don't want to put too much on it's difficult with it you need a steady hand for this Okay, just like that, there, like so. Swill the brush off. Right, now let's get some of this paint. So back to this paintbrush here. This has got titanium white paint on. Whoop, picked up a rogue air. Okay, I'm gonna come up here with this and then just paint down. There, I hope you can see that. I can see it, but I'm really on top of the canvas now. Paint down a bit more there, like so. I'm gonna have a path, I think. Uh, where would the path be? So let's try and put the path in. So let's get a smaller fab brush. I want one that's gonna sneak into into this area. Here. I'm just gonna pick up some of that Prussian blue, phthalo blue, and white. 
going to have a path that's going to lead somewhere. I put it there, and it comes round there. And I'm making it dish shaped, not say dish shaped, I'm going like that. But it's going to get bigger and bigger as it gets towards us. Like that. perspective you see swirl the brush off okay now we can take some of this white paint and we can start to push some of this path back in there so sneak in there that's that one we'll come and put some trees on this and then we'll come and put Mary and Joseph and uh, Dominic the donkey on there as well so work on angles Okay, and across here we'll probably have a peninsula or a hill or whatever we call it, just there. Working down, like so. So we're working forward. What I'm going to do, well I've just got hardly any paint on the paintbrush, I'm just going to go over that, blend it, blend this path, set it down. Into the painting. Good way for doing little uh, little roads and things. You could use browns and and uh, and uh, dark colours for that as well. Okay, let's take let's take. I'm going to use a bit of thin oil and black and blue. And this is on a rounded brush. It's like a, a filbert brush, but. Um, Swing it off a little bit. It's, I think it's a, a watercolour brush. What I'm going to do is just here, is just try and tap in the tiniest little tree possible. So I need a lot of paint, make sure it is thin so it sticks onto the canvas. put a bigger one here so what we'll do is come up tap in the bigger tree there that sets that off now back to the paintbrush and we can grab some of that base color and make shadows in the snow like that Okay, right, uh, let's put another set of trees. So again, take the black, take the blue, really tap it in. Yeah, I think this is a watercolour brush, but uh, it seems to work all right for, for this sort. So uh, probably every art critic in the in the world is, is yelling, you can't use watercolour brushes on oil paints, you'll just destroy them. But, but this seems to be all right. Okay, so put some more trees in, just there to make good, good evergreens with like lots of leaves that are, and branches that are hanging down. Put a couple more in. So you just put the, you know, the start of the trunk and then work your way down. There we go, plenty of paint. Don't be stingy on paint. We'll give them a third, once you've got a couple of trees, you end up with you've got a mummy and daddy one, you'll end up with a, a baby one at some point. <laughs> I'm sure. Trees are just like people, right? Put another one in there as well. Yeah. Like that. Okay, I mean, let's take a couple on this side as well. So I think there. Right in front of his village, Bethlehem, the start of Bethlehem. Just work down like that. And then another one, darker down at the base. Put another one, taking, break the, uh, the line 
of the hill into the sky. Down we go, down we go. A bit more darker, let's try and get it darker. Down there, that's it. That's what we're after. Because these are bigger, so it's pushing everything back. Good. Get a tad more thinner on the brush. Make them thin. A lot of paint. Let's put another one here. I oh, know, I'm gonna go over Bethlehem. It's all right, we know it's there. We know it's there, and if you look between the trees, you can see it. All right, there we go. How about that? Right, set that brush down. Let's grab some of this white paint. And again, we're just gonna grab and pull. And that gray color will go in with the whites and make a, a lovely kind of shadow, shadow effect. So, aim it towards the path. Work on angles, work on how, how you see these, this path developing, this hill developing. You can even grab a bit of blue. Put a bit of shadow in the snow there. There we go. So I hope you've been all good girls and boys this year. I hope you're gonna get everything Santa Claus is gonna get you. I think I've said it before, I'll probably get a lump of coal, but you know my thoughts on what I want to do for Christmas. Split the channel, <laughs> do do real coin hunts, make the art programs even more better. Okay, like that. Yeah, I think we've got to a point now where we can start uh, working on Mary and Joseph. So let me take a script line of brush wherever, wherever I put the script line of brush. There it is. Bit of paint thinner. And again, we'll go into that black and blue. I'm just gonna grab some crimson as well. Put that crimson in there as well, since it is Christmas. Since it is Christmas. Okay, so we'll start here. And we'll work on uh, we'll work on the donkey and Mary. So we'll, we'll, I have to put my middle finger on the uh, on the painting. So start like that. that. And we'll come down there like that. Yeah. Yeah. Forgive me if I'm not talking, just concentrating. Just concentrating. At this moment, I'll put Mary on the top. A bit more of the black, I think, into that. Yeah, work on the back part of the donkey now. There we go. So I want you to know, uh, I want you to write down if you if you saw the last one of these, the, the way to Bethlehem, if you saw last year's version of that, and how different this is. So it's very, very similar. It's very similar. Put a bit more over there, a bit more over there, like that. Uh, just, just basic shapes, basic shapes. Okay, let's go to Joseph, and he will be standing about here, I would think. Like so, bit of a... Um, we can give him a staff, a bit, pretty big staff. There we go. There, steady touch for this. Some legs. Yeah, and then what we need to do is put some shadows on this as well. So work on where the shadows are going to be. So there, swirl that brush off. Take a clean brush. Just use this one, and then just lightly grab some of that, and then just work back just as shadows 
in the snow. Obviously the front foot and the donkey. Right, there we go. So now we've got Mary and Joseph, the donkey, Dominic, you know, and uh, they're on the way to Bethlehem. Right, let's put some more trees in there. They were so good to paint. So let's, now we've got a little bit of that red color in the, in the paint. So I'm gonna paint another one just here. Right there, I think. All over this cloud. But that's all right, we know how to make that cloud now. So we've not lost anything. And just come down, it may pick up some of that titanium white, that liquid white, it doesn't matter. To be honest, there probably wasn't any Christmas trees in Bethlehem or Nazareth at that, at the, you know, at the time of the uh, of Jesus Christ's birth, but we like them, so we can put them in, right? Okay, let's take some more. So I'm just gonna add some brown into that as well. We'll paint another one. Make it smaller, I think, just there. Who doesn't like trees? I know some people don't like trees, but I do. Put that down there like so. Maybe bring it round. Yeah, and then take one on the other side. So we'll come up here, forgive the arm, we'll go right there into that cloud and then just lightly, just very gently go across and then work his way down. Love this brush, it cre creates such, such beautiful foliage. There, down, a bit more paint, a bit more black. Down there, like so. Like that. Now we've painted the back side of the trees. We're going to paint the front of the trees. But let's paint the middle first. So let's take some of this brown. So I'm going to take just burnt sienna and in the middle just put a little tree trunk. Let's, let's do that on all the trees that we can see. Intermittently put it in. Here and there. Burnt lovely, rich, ready colour brown. You could make your own brown out of out of green and uh, liz and crimson, but uh, maybe we'll do that on somebody else. You can even make your black out of liz and crimson and thalo green as well. Okay, and then I'll put some sticks, just push some sticks in. Right, wipe the knife off. Okay, now we've got that done. Let's pick up that white paint again. I just want to, in fact, we'll just use this big brush now. Just grab the base with the white paint and it comes down just like that. Nice and soft, blend it into the canvas. Same on this side, bit more white paint. Where this land is gonna be, where this hill's gonna be. Just there, like so. And eventually, we can come back and put some really thick snow in if we wish with a palette knife. So just there, like that. Nearly done, yeah? Nearly done. I think one thing that we did forget to do is the stars. I hope people were screaming at me. We forgot the stars, Dan. But we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Okay. So take some white paint, some, some liquid white paint. We'll have a bit of blue in there as well. Just a tiny bit of blue. That's thalo blue. Thalo blue, titanium white, liquid white. And where there's light sources is, that's where we want the, uh, the highlights of some of these trees. Now I'm not gonna do every single one of these far away ones because they're, they're far away. Just want one or two light indications. There we go, just there, like that. maybe a bit down there. Just one or two on this baby one. I don't want him left out. Nothing worse than a baby that's uh, not getting its own way. Okay. All right, so up here again. Again, work on the light side. 
So yeah, I want to thank everybody as well that stuck with the channel for the last uh, the last 18 months or so. You know, um, it's, it really has been a journey, and the journey is not ending. It's just it's just developing stronger, and I think that's what that's what uh, my intention is to to, to get stronger and uh, become make, well be make better videos for you guys. So we'll still stick to the Sunday morning painting and then people have got a nice relaxing day to watch the watch the paint show if they if so wish. And then with the coin stuff, I don't know, I'm just gonna have to revise that. See what see what happens with the coins when when you know which day we go uh, go out on and because it is pretty random at the moment. So I do try and stick to some sort of schedule. It is pretty random. Okay, just down like that. And on the other side, just let me grab a little bit more thin white paint. A bit more blue in that. There we go. Plenty of paint. And then on this side, obviously, we'll just put just one or two cool colors. Want many. Don't want many. There we go. There we go. So this video will be also up on the new channel as well. So obviously it's going up on the treasures channel, but it will also go up on the uh, the new channel at some point before Christmas. There we go, look. Got a lot of white paint on that one. A lot of snow. But making it brighter pushes everything back. Gives a lot more distance. Like that down there. There we go. Got a bit more of that white. Yeah. There we go. Right, let's grab the brush, white brush, white paint. Perhaps I know what we're going to do. We're going to put some paint on with the, the palette knife, aren't we? So let's do that. Let's grab the palette knife, come along, take a little roll of paint, and just gently, like you're doing a mountain, just there like that. Really build that snow nice and thick. Push that path back. There, like that. A bit more there. So we're nice and chilled out on a Sunday morning, painting for Christmas. What more could we want? What more could we want? Well, maybe we could have Santa Claus in the next. that right nearly done nearly done what did we forget we forgot to do the stars so tiny bit tiny bit of uh, liquid white and here and there just between the, the clouds we can put the tiniest of the biggest stars one or two in here up here as well You could also make snow like this as well. But I think the stars look quite neat. And you want to do between the clouds. But really look for them, yeah? Up here in the corner. Like that. If we've got a bit too bigger one, one that's a little bit giddy up there, all you need to do is take your knife, sweep him off, and take a clean brush, any brush will do. I'll go back to this one and then just tickle him into the into the painting there just gone just like that right let's sign this one let's sign this one so what we'll do thin red paint down down here I initial this uh, um, I'll initial this and I'll sign the back happy days 
So let me know your thoughts, my fantastic friends. Mary and Joseph are on the way to Bethlehem, so I think at some point we'll have the Nativity painting, maybe very similar to this, who knows. But uh, let me know your thoughts, my fantastic friends, and until next time, you take care of yourself, stay safe, and as always, Merry Christmas, Happy Days. <laughs>